dear colleague, my dear friend, Minister Kakua, Minister of Freedom Fighting, colleagues from the press. Once again, I would like to convey a warm welcome to my good colleague, good friend, friend Minister of the Republic of Korea, Her Excellency Kang Kim Wong. It is an honor for me, it is an honor for the Indonesia to host the third joint commission meeting on GCM between Indonesia and ROK. The last GCM was held about four years ago. This GCM meeting is very timely to ensure the implementation of the special strategic partnership between Indonesia and the Republic of Korea agreed upon by our two presidents in 2017 and also as a follow-up of the visit of the President of Indonesia to Seoul September 2018. During the meeting, we discussed a wide range of issues, a number of issues. I would like to highlight uh, some of them. First, we agreed to start the negotiation on the Plan of Action, or POA, as a guideline for our future cooperation. We further agreed to finalize the POA maximum within six months. Second, we both reiterated our commitment to strengthen bilateral relations. For Indonesia, Republic of Korea is our close friend and strategic partner, especially in trade, investment, and many other cooperation. Third, on trade. We note with positivity that in 2018, last year, our trade experienced a significant increase of 15% with the value almost US dollar 20 billion. We therefore agreed to revive negotiation for the Indonesia-Korea Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement or IKCPA. We are committed to continue bolstering trade to achieve our goal of having US dollar 30 billion in 2022. Fourth, on investment. In the last five years, ROK has continued to be the sixth largest foreign investor in Indonesia. The Korean total investment valued at 7 billion US dollar with 11,000 261 projects. I welcome the realization of Lotte Chemical Investment, namely through the groundbreaking of Lotte Chemical Petrochemical Plant in Chilagon, December 2018. Fifth, I reiterated the importance of protection of Indonesia migrant workers. More than 36,000 Indonesian works in ROK. I hope that we will be able to finalize the negotiation on the draft MOU on employment permit system. And I requested also the special attention be given to the Indonesian seafarer who are not covered under the EPS. Six, Indonesia and Republic of Korea are committed to strengthen its partnership on regional and global issues. Indonesia highly appreciates the active contribution of ROK during the high-level dialogue on Indo-Pacific cooperation hosted by Indonesia March 2019. Indonesia also appreciates ROK's commitment to pursue a stable and peaceful Korean Peninsula. ROK is a good partner of Indonesia and MICTA, and ROK is also an important partner for ASEAN. We are committed to ensure the successful of the 30th ASEAN Rock Commemorative Summit.
Summit in Busan November this year. And later today, Minister Kang and I myself will meet the Indonesian millennials. We both believe that millennials are important asset for future, the future of Indonesia and ROK and beyond. Now I would like to invite Minister Kang to deliver her remark. Kang Sahamida. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Retno Marsudi. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. Um, just a few words in addition to, uh, to and to complement what uh, Minister Retno has already um, stated. But I am extremely grateful uh, for this warm hospitality uh, extended to me and my colleagues from the Republic of Korea uh, by Minister Retno and her team. Minister Retno and I have uh, known each other for a long time and I think uh, perhaps one of the closest collaborator that I have on the regional and global stage so my dear friend my dear colleague uh, Minister Retno and her team sitting together at the third Joint Commission meeting today was personally a great honor and, and privilege Today's meeting brought together not only our foreign ministries, but a wide spectrum of ministries and agencies that are spearheading the efforts to consolidate the ties between our two countries. I'm accompanied by colleagues from the Ministry of Trade, uh, Industry and Energy, Korea Forest Service, and the Korea Coastal Guard. Minister Retna and I held very fruitful discussions on ways to step up our bilateral cooperation across the board, uh, taking stock of the agreements and outcomes of the recent respective state visits by our two presidents. We noted that following the establishment of the special strategic partnership between our two countries in 2017, our cooperation has continued to expand and deepen in various areas, including trade and investment, defense, infrastructure projects, culture, regional and global issues, and of course, people-to-people -people exchanges. Indeed, the bilateral relations between our two countries has reached unprecedented new heights and in this in the context of our new southern policy India is indeed our central and ind indispensable partner as Minister Retno stated this year represents a significant year for the development of ASEAN Korea relations as well in celebration of the 30th anniversary of establishing dialogue relations between ASEAN and Korea, the ASEAN-Korea Commemorative Summit will be held in Busan from November 25th to the 27th. And this will be the biggest diplomatic event that my government is undertaking this year. And it will be a milestone event for our new Southern policy. And I would like to thank Indonesia for its fullest cooperation in the process of giving birth to this commemorative summit. And I will certainly count on Indonesia's continuing full support and cooperation so that it will be, uh, the commemorative summit will indeed be very successful. And I'm confident that through the summit, we will be able to achieve concrete deliverables that will benefit the people of our two countries and the region. In today's meeting, Minister Retno and I discussed the importance of strengthening our strategic cooperation. We noted in particular that growing cooperation in the defense industry sector adds a new level of mutual trust in the strategic partnership. We also reaffirmed the importance of our maritime security cooperation, especially in, line of the, in light of the maritime security cooperation MOU signed during President Jokowi's state visit to Korea last year, and in consideration of the great significance that the ocean holds for both of our countries. 
recognizing that trade and investment are important vehicles for the economic cooperation of the two countries, we both expressed our hopes that the ongoing SEPA negotiations will reach a successful conclusion by the end of this year. We discussed a wide variety of other topics, including infrastructure, transportation, science and technology, agriculture and forestry, and I'm happy to say that cooperation is vibrant and wide-ranging in all the areas that we have discussed today and that many Korean companies are actively investing in Jakarta. We also explored ways in which our two countries can further enhance mutually beneficial cooperation in creative content industries with a focus on film and broadcasting. We agree that people-to-people -people exchange is the foundation for the friendship between our two countries to continue to deepen and prosper. And in light of this, we noted that it is especially important to foster friendship and mutual understanding between the young generations of our two countries countries and so therefore we will work together very hard to hold the young leaders dialogue at the earliest possible time within this year. And in this vein, I'm happy to note that my government is actively working on improving our visa issuance policy so that more Indonesians can visit Korea with greater ease. We started issuing multiple entry visas valid for 10 years starting January this year. And in addition, we will greatly reduce the number of documents required for visa applications starting in May. And also for group tourists, we will be launching an electronic travel authorization system for e-visas. And as for the many Indonesian workers that have come to our countries to work on our EPA program, uh, my government is working very hard to ensure the, the rights, the welfare, and the safety of these workers, both those who benefit from the EPA as well as those who don't and come under our uh, 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 deep sea fishing uh, vessels. And last but not least, Minister Retner and I exchanged views on the recent developments and the situation on the Korean Peninsula. And I asked Indonesia's continued support in the efforts to achieve denuclearization and the establishment of lasting peace regime in the Korean Peninsula. And I also benefit a great deal from Minister Retner's explanation of Indonesia's involvement in many other uh, regional issues of global importance. And I think Indonesia's leadership is very much appreciated in this regard. I'm very happy to conclude that we were able to further strengthen and consolidate our special strategic partnership through today's third Joint Commission meeting. And based on today's discussion, I look forward to continuing to work with Minister Retno for this very special partnership and friendship and the fact that we will be meeting Indonesian millennials together, and I think is a very good indication of how special this is. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.